What's up YouTube, back here again with another video, and today we are going to take a look at the King Kong 90GT, okay? This is a 90mm micro brushless FPV racing quadcopter, yes, I know, a mouthful. Now I have here, I have the um, almost ready to fly version that came without a receiver. We'll start off with the options that they have. They have an uh, FR Sky receiver version, a DSM-2 uh, receiver version and a FASST receiver version. Uh, I have none of those. I fly uh, Fly Sky, so I got the almost ready to fly version. We'll go through that. Now, it has a F3 um, F3 Racing flight controller. Okay, which is at the bottom down here, or in this middle stack right here. All right, got some ports on that side. Turn it around, we got some ports on this side. And so you can see it's this board right here in the middle. Now when it came, it had wires coming off this front piece. This front piece here is for S-Bus, all right? And then this connector, which was in the box, you can use for PPM or PWM. So the PWM, it had, you know, had all the wires hanging off of here for all the different, you know, channels. Uh, I'm using PPM, so obviously I'm using positive, negative, and signal, all right? Uh, flight controller is configurable with Betaflight right out of the box. Um, it connected up fine. I was able to go in and connect, uh, you know, change my auxiliary channels so I can arm it with a switch and change the flight modes with the other switch. You know, it was easy, no issues there. Uh, everything was set up pretty well. Um, if we look at the top, we can see the FPV system here. It's a 25 milliwatt. Um, 16 channel FPV transmitter uh, system. We got an 800 TVL CMOS camera in the front with a field of view of 150 degrees. All right, uh, the camera's okay. You know, it's it's a decent, you know, it's a CMOS camera, right? You get an okay picture. Uh, light levels aren't the best, but for what it is, it's pretty good. All right, I mean, you can see this thing is so tiny. It's a 90 millimeter carbon frame. The carbon's pretty thick. It's not very flexible. 25 milliwatt FPV system, F3 flight controller. Down at the bottom, we have our uh, all-in-one ESC power distribution board down here at the bottom. Okay. It's a BL, 3 amp BL Heli 4-in-1 ESC. Okay. You can see the motors run right into the corners. Set up nice on the bottom. You get your power connector goes into the back. The uh, camera system gets wired down here also. I know it's hard to see. Everything's kind of smushed up in there. So that pretty much covers that. Then we have the super tiny 1103 7800 kV brushless motors. All right, that take these two screw props. And we, it comes with a rubber band to hold your battery. You just slip it in here. And then this is what I added. Here is my FlySky FS-88S um, receiver. All right, like I said, I have it set up in PPM. Um, I kind of just strapped it to the bottom here. It was kind of the only place I could find it for out of the way. Then ran the antenna up here. All right, it works pretty good. The only thing is once you stick the battery in it, it kind of leans forward to start, but it gets, it gets, you know, it pulls up straight. So I haven't had any issues. Uh, now, I haven't addressed, obviously there's some changes here. This doesn't look like a standard 90 GT anymore. Uh, number one, the props that come on here, while they work and it flies very well, they suck. They literally, if they nick something, just nick something, they shatter. I mean, they just shatter apart. Uh, you know, if you nick a little branch or anything, it's shattering and it's going down and it's gonna be hard to find. Um, I went through both pair. It came with two sets of propellers, and it literally went down. Uh, I went through them all in a matter of uh, two battery packs, it, it, and they were gone. So I couldn't fly, so I had to add one more. So I went looking online. They're 1935 pr propellers, so 1.9 inch, 35 degree pitch, right? I found these. These are from Furious FPV. I got them off eBay. All right, they're 1935 quad blade, but they're just the, they're the more sturdier plastic now they're not cheap I paid I think I paid 12 bucks for one set 
but so far they seem to be holding up a whole hell of a lot better. They're, like I said, they're that, they're more the standard propeller plastic that we see out there. Not this, I'll show you in a second what the other ones are made out of, just not as good. Uh, the other thing is I added an XT30 connector. Um, it comes factory running off of the uh, 2S, the balance port plug. I don't really like that. Um, I don't think it transmits enough voltage through. I mean, this is pulling a lot of current, these brushless motors. So I switched over everything over to an XT30. Uh, I can charge that better um, because it doesn't come with a charger, right? So it comes in the box, propellers aren't on it. You get two sets of propellers. You get this thing already pre-built, ready to go, uh, unless you have to add your receiver, which I did. Um, if you get a pre-built version, pre, you know, receiver version, it'll already be done. You just have to bind it up. Follow the instructions. The manual is online on the website. This came from banggood.com. I'll link in the description. Um, like I said, everything was super simple. All right, we'll take a look. It comes in this box. All right, it comes in this nice plastic box. I kind of have it torn apart now. It's kind of, you know, I've been using it for a little while. So I also found these DYS 2 inch. These are 20 30 props. They also work. Um, you got to make sure that all your wires and everything are tucked in because you can see the clearance even on these 19 ones are, you know, there's not a whole lot of clearance here. Um, it's even tighter in the back, but they do work. Okay. Um, I haven't flown these yet. They, I did put them on. They'd spin. Um, you know, I'm flying these 1935 ones for now. So I got two sets of these, um, but they're like more of the same plastic that the other props are. They're just a little thicker. So... Anyway, we got those. I've ordered a whole hell of a lot more of these standard propellers. And you can see, you can see this is the right-handed side and this is the left-handed side. You can see which one I break more of, right? Freaking clockwise ones. I don't know why, but I'm just busting through them. So, I mean, they're like a translucent plastic. You can see this one I must have flew and it's already got a stress crack in it. And who knows? That, I mean, it might have hit nothing. That's ready to go. It's just really flimsy. They knock something and they just shatter apart. I got literally these little tabs, these little propeller wings here are all over my house and all over outside. So these are the stock propellers. You get them in the box. You get two sets, okay? So you get a little bit of flight time. Um, you get one battery, 350 milliamp hour, two cell battery with a standard thing and it had a uh, you know balance port. It runs off of this originally. I switched over to the XT. Um, 30 because I like these better and I have charger system for them so otherwise it'll charge off of a regular 2s balance port charger if that's what you have it comes with four of these prop guards all right now these prop guards they give you the screws for it you actually have to take out all the motor screws put this on and then use the longer um, motor mount screws that go through this into the motor um, you know, it's a solid design. I'll give them that. But, man, what a pain in the ass to put this together. I mean, I had them on. I tried it out. It didn't protect the propellers much better. It just, they, they went, you know, they broke in no time. But I'll kind of just sit here and you can see. And then it has these little, um, it has these little connection, connector pieces that kind of connect it together to make a, a solid frame. You can kind of see. You know, it goes on. It's very sturdy, very solid, but it messes up your view of the camera. So, you know, that's that's your own choice if you want to fly with the prop guards. Alright, so we got prop cards. Prop guards. It also comes with two more rubber bands for the battery and a prop removal tool, which you absolutely don't need. But anyway, they give it to you. Here's the hardware for the prop guards. You have to use these little washers, these are longer screws. And you don't get a full set. You only get enough to put two screws in each motor so my guess is what they want you to do but i i couldn't get really get it to work is take out only two of the screws put the motor mount the motor guards on and then put the two screws back in the hole so two per wing i took them all out and put just two screws in each side uh you know that's that's up to your choice and after i did all that i kind of the screw holes kind of stripped out a little over here on this side and i can only get two to catch and then I lost one of them, so I kind of had to, like, use the long one and pack it out with the thing. Anyway, struggles of quadcopter flying, right? Uh, these are some extra prop screws that came with the Furious FPV blades. Uh, you get a USB cable to 
program it through the computer. And then in here, I have a whole hell of a lot of wires, right? These are the wires that come on the um, that come on the PWM cable. All right, it's for the different signals and stuff. Oh no, scratch that. That came on. Do, 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 do. Where did that come on? No, these ones came on the PWM cable. Okay. These little small ones. I think it had a small one on there too. Yeah, all these came. Oh no, here we go. What do I got going on here? No. These little single ones came on the S bus cable, which is right here. This goes out the front for S bus, and it had these little single connectors on there. Obviously, I cut them off. I was going to solder until I went read the manual and realized that's for S bus, and I didn't connect S bus. So this goes off this front connector if you're going to fly S bus, right? This will go in here, and that's what's that's what it was plugged into out of the box. And then your PPM has all these for PWM if you're going to use one wire per one channel. Um, obviously, I cut them all off and, you know, I, I soldered directly to it so to minimize everything I could. So that's pretty much it. And the rest of that is the wires cut off from the receiver. All right. So we see everything we get. Seeing everything that comes on the quadcopter. Let's talk about my opinion. This thing is incredible, okay? Even though that the prop guards just bust, I mean the props just break apart once you get the prop situation straightened out, this thing flies absolutely in freaking credible. It is the best flyer out of the box I've ever flown and anything I've ever bought. And even the one I built when I loaded it up, it still took me a while to tune it and get it right. This thing is flying beautifully out of the box. It's powerful. It pushes around outdoors without a problem. It's really fun. It's really fast. Um, the FPV system is okay. It's a 25 milliwatt system, so make sure you're you kind of stay close and you don't go through many obstructions, and you'll have a blast. So I'm gonna plug it in. I'm gonna show you the light on the top. Uh, let me turn my receiver on or my transmitter. Okay, transmitter's on. I'm gonna plug it in. Get the little tune. Okay. So you can see right on the top, you got this super bright LED, which is a good idea. So if it goes down in the grass, you can try to find it a little easier. I mean, that thing is super bright and it's steady, it constantly blinks. So that kind of helps you out for location. Now, bust that off and we'll bring it. The FPV signal. Now I was lucky that I, out of the 16 channels that it comes with, I was able to um, I was able to find a channel that linked up with everything that I was already flying with. I just kept pushing this button. All right, I just I'll show you the button in a second, but you can see the signal. All right, not too bad. Button right on the top right here is how you change your channel. Um, I just kept pushing this button and it tuned up to my stuff. So I, I think I got lucky. Uh, otherwise, you're going to have to just kind of leave it where it is and then use your goggles to scan channels. Um, there is a channel guide on the manual. I just kept pushing the button and then eventually it kind of linked up. So I think that's it. That covers everything on the uh, down low. Let's, uh, I'll take it into the living room and we'll take it for a flight. Okay, here we go. We're going to do our, I'll do a little flight test here in the living room. Give you a little idea on what we got. So again, I'm flying um, the F, uh, Furious FPV props, which I highly recommend you get because it'll take a little bit of more of a beating. Uh, punch. This thing is punchy. I don't want to jam it into the ceiling. I mean, it just goes. These brushless motors are super powerful. Uh, the dual rates are really high. They're, it's nice and touchy. I mean, you can see it just wants to take off. You can fly in acro. I don't really fly much in acro. I'm still learning. A lot of prop wash under this thing, man. It's, it's turning these guys something fierce.
The yaw rate is out of control. To get you close, you can see the yaw. See it zipping around. <laughs> it's fast. It corners quick. Oh, battery died. So that's the end of the flight test. Um, as you can see, I love this thing. It's It flies great. It's $130. Link will be in the description. Buy it. Get you some Furious FPV uh, props for it. And you're going to be on your way flying. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.